Station 11. Jesus is nailed to the cross. Mark 15 and verse 25. It was nine in the morning when they crucified him. The written notice of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. They crucified two rebels with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, So, you who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, come down from the cross and save yourself. In the same way, the chief priests and the teachers of the law mocked him among themselves. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. Let this Messiah, this King of Israel, come down from the cross that we may see and believe. Those crucified with him also heaped insults on him. One of the most challenging things I've ever been asked to do was to stand for five minutes with my arms outstretched in the shape of the cross. It is excruciatingly painful. Five minutes, no nails, no crown of thorns cutting into the head, no nakedness and no hanging so that the lungs are impacted. Just muscle ache. For most of us, we cannot begin to imagine the physical pain as Jesus willingly submitted himself to open wide his arms for us. Why would we? And the mocking that offered Jesus the opportunity to get out of the situation, to draw upon his status as fully God and show the world who he really was. Just like at the temptation stories, Jesus was offered the chance to escape and he chose the path laid down in the words of scripture. He chose to be the servant of the Lord that Isaiah had spoken of. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. So we stretch out our hands again this Lent, on this journey, and we invite the Lord to fill our emptiness, to accept his offer of forgiveness for our wrongdoing, and to receive the love of God to sustain us in our daily lives. And then we take and use our hands to bless others as Jesus did.